Hello everybody, Alexandre here from Angel Culture Mency and this is your uh, weekly video. So, um, first of all, I want to thank everybody who had uh, sent me messages lately and comments on my videos about uh, me receiving the advanced copy of my, both my book and deck. Okay, so I really wanted to share this excitement with you, this great moment. And this is why I've asked my wife to, you know, take a little video, you can check it out. And I was very happy to receive the deck, okay, and also the book. Uh, and yeah, you can look at the little unboxing and see the cards, we're going to work with them also today. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you so much. This is, you know, also your success. You are part of this adventure. You are part of, you know, the, the team, if I can tell. Without you, I won't be there teaching and uh, explaining my art. It's your, in, your, it's your interest in uh, my work that had beard, you know, so much success. So, thank you very much. So, for this week's topic, uh, I wanted to talk about uh, charge cards, you know, how to charge a card to reply to a question uh, because this is something that, you know, that is very powerful to you to do in the normal reading and also many people are intrigued about, you know, how to do it and how it works and is there any magic or, you know, whatever. So I'm here to demystify today uh, how to use that, okay, how to use a charge card. So. Uh, to use a charge card, we need to use a significator, okay? So everyone knows that in the Lenormand there is two main significators, the man and the woman, card 29 and 28, but it's not the only one, okay? Because what a significator means is, you know, a card that represents a, a context, an issue, the question, you know, or something that you want to have a look, close look to. So, uh, for instance, when you talk about work, your uh, fox would be your um, your focus card, your significator. Uh, or if you read another system, the anchor or the moon or the bear can represent work. Choose one of these. For instance, for money, there are three cards for money. There is uh, the clover, the bear, and the fish. And for me, it's the bear because I'm French. And the ten of clubs in French cardomancy represent money. Okay, so does the nine of clubs for the fox represent work. And if you are uh, actually asking about the child, you can use the child card. If you are uh, inquiring about housing or property or family, you can use the house. Okay, so I'm going to now show you how to do that. And as we are in the love, you know, the week of love, of Valentine's Day, we're going to focus upon um, actually uh, reading something that is relevant to love, okay? So we're going to ask a question and see what the cards that come up. So I have my card there, and you're going to take out of the deck the card that represent uh, your, you know, your question, your context. This will become your uh, your charge card. You're going to charge it with your intention, okay? So you want to know about someone's uh, intention, you know, love intention, okay? So I focus upon the heart, or you can use the man card or the woman card also, this work also. You speak your intention, so I want to know what uh, Mary thinks about John. Okay, what, is, what are the intentions of Mary? Okay, and I have, you know, said the intention. I'll take the card and put it, put it back in the deck. Give it a nice shuffle. Think about my question, really what I want to know. So I want to know the intention. Okay, it's not a prediction. I'm not asking if uh, uh, Mary will, will marry John. This is, you know, intention. What he would like to do with Mary. Context is very important, the question is very important in Norman. So you shuffle and when you feel that it's okay, you're going to go into your deck and look for your heart. Oh, there it is. 
you have your heart card which is there if you can see in the camera you're going to take two cards before it two cards before it and two cards after it okay and you're going to actually uh, interpret you know uh, these cards so before the the heart we have the dog we have the garden the heart then we have the fox and we have the bear okay so we start by pairing the first two the first two is is dog and garden okay so the intention of Mary if you have the you know when you it, when it's love you don't want to have the dog as you know in, in the reading because the dog is friendship is you know bestie friends buddy you know you don't and if, the, if there is any romantic heart in the spread like if, if if perhaps the dog was with the moon I could tell that there will be a romantic uh, relationship from this friendship but with the garden, it is social but a flying. So Mary wants to stay friend with John and you know continues to butterfly and joy and to have you know and to have fun. Okay. Then with the fox and the bear. Okay, fox is being clever and um, the bear is you know being you know bold and strong when when it comes to relationship. So. I will say that you know Mary wants to befriend you know with uh, with John and she wants to say it like she is like blunt and very you know uh, butterflying everywhere teasing people also and yeah there is no possible relationship you know she doesn't intend to have a relationship with John okay so this is how you will use um, uh, actually uh, a chart card okay you will focus your intention on the card that represent the situation the significator and in my book the art of le normal reading you have a long an extensive list of significators what they are and how to use them okay and what is beautiful is that le normal is read you know very quickly Okay, so if you really want to have like, you know, uh, a quick reading, you know, have do a lot of quick readings, Le Normal is good. Really, really good because in less than five minutes you have the answer and it's direct. We don't, you know, turn around, you know, we go straightly to what is necessary. So this was the topic of this week and now we're going to go to the question of our subscriber. So this question comes from one of our subscribers and I found this question really, you know, important, okay? Because I have been asked over and over again. So her question is, what is the Grand Le Normand or the Great Le Normand? And why don't we don't talk about it, okay? So first thing, the Grand Le Normand or the Great Le Normand or the Grand Tarot of Mademoiselle Le Normand or the uh, Grand Jeu Mythologique, there are all these names. This is a deck that is now produced by Grimaud of France Cart in, Fran in France. And there, there had been earlier version of that. And uh, it is not Le Normand for me. It doesn't follow the system of the Petit Le Normand. The first thing is that there is 50 car 54 cards instead of 36 okay it's a whole poker poker deck you know there is the 52 and then there is the man and the lady card in the deck and uh it follows playing cards uh, suit but there is also geomancy in there there is also astrology in there there is also mythology in there okay there is uh the golden fleas there is you know all these kind of mixed and at the bottom of the card you have the small subject you have the the great subject and you have 
the middle small subject. So there is quite, you know, on a card there is like one, two, three, four, five, six, six to seven or eight things to look at. Okay. Um, I work with the Grand Le Normand, not extensively as the small, as the, the Petit Le Normand. I find the Petit Le Normand, you know, quicker and, you know, I like it. it it's easy for me to read it. Whereas the Grand Le Normand, the Great Le Normand is, you know, is tougher. You need more time. If you find, you know, the Petit Le Normand complicated, wait to see the Great One. It's, you know, very, very, very tough. But when you, like any kind of divination technique, when you get to use it, it's wonderful, it's fantastic. Okay, but you really need time and dedication and practice. Really, really a lot, 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 lot of practice. And here yeah, you can try it, but it is a different system of divination. This is why we don't talk about it on this channel, because I find it to be a separate, you know, uh, divination because it combines not only card reading, but other things, astrology, geomancy, and all these, you know, things, mythology in there. And this is why I don't want to, to confuse people with Le Normand. There is, you know, and there is also a Petit Le Normand, which is a reduced um, format of the Great Le Normand. 36 cards, complex. They don't have reduced the, the big deck into a smaller one. It doesn't, uh, even if there is the names like uh, the mice and everything, you know, in the small one, it doesn't represent the same thing. There is still the mythology. There is still, you know, things going on. There is also, you know, what we call quatre in, 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 in French, you know, the little poems. Still there, but, you know, still confusing. Okay, so if you want to test it, why not to enrich your divination uh, technique? But if you start with the normal, please stick with the small, the petit jeu first. And then you can venture into the Great uh, Le Normand or the small version of the Great Le Normand. Okay. So for this week reading, I am uh, using my um, Alexandre Masraq Le Normand. Okay, and I thought as it is, you know, uh, Valentine's Day, so I wanted to do a reading for people that are looking for love and also uh, a reading for those who are already in a relationship and want to know, you know, uh, how things will um, evolve. Okay, so we start with those who uh, are looking for love. I have the cards here. And I'm going to shuffle them and I'm going to pick three cards, you know, and let's say that the Oracle will give us an advice. Okay, randomly I'll pull three and let's see what are the cards. So we have the birds, mm, the book and the lady. Okay. So put the card there so you get a better, a better look at them. So, so what I'm, um, I'm getting here, we have the, the, the card of the lady, which, which represents the, the female person receiving the reading. And there is the birds, the birds is communication, but the birds is also a couple. And we have the book. Okay, the book is secrecy, is, you know, intimacy. So here the woman is looking at the book in the direction of the book and also the birds. So for her to attain a couple to, you know, to build a relationship, she needs to open more. Okay, you need to open more, you need to uh, talk a little bit more timidity and, you know, uh, and being reserved is not the good way to go. Okay, uh, let people know what you expect in a relationship, you know, at the very first day or date, you know, don't let anyone, you know, force you to uh, um, into a relationship that you don't want to get in. 
communication is very important keeping things from others you know it's not a great thing as well um, these two cards can relate to the past where you had had these type of issues where you know uh, people had kept free things from you they had perhaps be talking with other people um, behind your back and your trust in you know in a good relationship is no more okay and also if we add the cards these three cards together 38 38 67 67 6 plus 7 is equal to 13 so we have the card of the child and the child is new beginning okay so this is what the card is showing you if you want to attain new beginning if you want to uh, make things happen you know you need to be uh, to be you know clear about your intention clear about the type of relationship that you want and also clear about the kind of man you want to attract in this relationship okay it's very 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 important okay be clear in your head be crystal clear because i always say as we say your intention creates your reality so here you really want to focus upon something good something um you know beautiful true love and also you need someone to talk to you need someone that listen to you and someone that understand that can read you like a book you know really understand who you are your history and your talents and you know all your experience okay so be clear you, you, you can pray also the the birds here as the voice and the book as the word can ask you to do some prayers you know read some like some psalms read some like you know meditative books and quotes and you know do a novena so all these things are available for you to attract love in your life okay now for those who are already in a relationship okay let's see what the card has to tell you so we have tower mm -hmm. we have letter and the last one mm -hmm. it's the fox okay so um it's like you know the same essence for both people who are in a relationship and people who are uh, are free so here for those who are already in a relationship the tower is the card of being solitaire of being alone and the fox is someone that chased alone as well okay and a letter is something that is you know dedicated to someone and it is something private so there is something about privacy here that needs to be a work on okay so uh, maybe you have been so long because the tower is also time a long time it's 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 a long time that you are together and it seems like the monotony of things you know like doing the same thing over and over again has you know um, brought you guys to forgot the first days of your relationship and why you had decided to be together and why you wanted to be in your relationship okay so the fox as the third card which is for me the advice card is telling you to be smarter okay be smarter not to be tricky not to be you know to be abusive because here we look at the qualities the good qualities of the fox so the fox is smart the, the fox you know knows words he knows how to use the his talent and his words so it's to use this valentine as you know a time where you can pour your car your heart uh, your heart out if you have my book you know in each le normand cards let's look for the fox for each le normand cards you have a message okay you have a message and uh, it's like you know an affirmation okay for instance the fox tell you you have the power to change this situation okay and the tower tells you 
you know, build healthy boundaries. But this is in the past position. So we're looking more of, you know, of the fox card. And the letter here tells you pull your heart out. You know, pull your heart out. So, you know, these are what the cards are telling you, you know. And, um, and the special power of the fox is words are some of the most powerful forces on earth. Use them wisely. This is, you know, what you need to do for your relationship to, you know, to still go strong and, you know, uh, bring some kind of fresh air and like, you know, uh, and re reignite the flame of love and passion between you. So I hope I have enjoyed this week video. It was a pleasure, like always, to share with you uh, my passion, my art, my, my life with you all. And I'm so very happy to see so many people responding with comments and, you know, subscribing to the channel. And if you are new, please, please, please subscribe. There are a lot of new videos coming up and, you know, I teach Every week I teach something new that maybe you are aware of, but sometimes, you know, these are um, another point of view of certain topics on Le Normand. Okay? So if you like my style, if you like my work, please subscribe and leave a comment down below. And you can join me also on Facebook. You search me under the name of Louis Alexandre. Louis Alexandre. And also you can check out my uh, webpage angelcartomancy.com and you can pre-order the Alexandre Mastroac Lenormand on Amazon. You can also uh, order the Art of Lenormand reading book that is coming out, you know, in, in, in less than a month. You know, it's not uh, that far. So be sure to get your copy before it goes out of stock. You know, you want to be the first people to get it. And yeah, thank you for all, and I'll see you next week on a new video. Bye.